Traditionally and now, it's under contract. So if you're thinking about selling, don't make a mistake. Call Local Mark today. Goodwill. Good for the planet and good for our community. We are going to talk the housing market here in Chattanooga because every day when you wake up and you go to get your morning cup of coffee, it is a new day in real estate here. And so the man to ask is Mark Height. He's back on the show with the Mark Height team. Good to see you. Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day wearing your green. Well, you know, we've got to have every hook we've got possible, you know, because uh, it is a competitive real estate market. But that's a good thing, isn't it? Isn't competition a good thing? You know, it absolutely is. And the market is returning to a little more competitive nature you know it's a very positive thing you know we had been a year ago Julie you and I sat here on the sofa it was unhealthy right appreciation was running up 20 percent that was unsustainable yeah and, and selfish and it felt very selfish it was just it was not a good time and for anybody except for sellers who were getting a ton more money than perhaps mm -hmm. you know was justified but I'm so happy this month um, we saw the median price increase 3.3%, just as our first slide shows here. I like the way you explained it to me though, because if you are an average seller perhaps, and you're thinking, oh gee, I missed my window of opportunity. Not really, because your price value on your home is not uh, receded. No. You're just not going to get the moon and the stars. It has not rolled back. Nowhere in our community have we seen prices go backwards. You know, what we're seeing is $297,500 was the median price last month, you know, which is a 3.4% increase, 3.3% increase. And year to date, we're at 1.4%. So sellers haven't lost ground and buyers on the flip side have not, um, they're not being just eaten up by multiple offers and prices going through the roof. I'm going to get in the weeds with you though for just a second. Okay. Because I think a lot of homeowners during those COVID that COVID time, mm -hmm. it was fun to get on Zillow and see each day how your house is going up and up and up in value. If you're going on Zillow, mm -hmm. there's a good chance that that number is going down, right? So it's a great question because um, I had an appraiser call me the other day and he said, okay, Mark, he said, just leaving one of your houses, you know, we're gonna hit the value. He said, but the comps that I'm using will drop off next month, meaning they were approaching a year old. Oh. And so the, it was the overheated January, February, March period. Okay. So they really want them to be more closer and closer to today's date. Mm -hmm. So the more recent comps, if you went back 90, 120 days when the market's been contracting, mm -hmm. they were not at those stronger prices. Okay, something else. You and I were talking a little bit off camera and we'll get into this on camera. Um, appraisal value, at the, the, what a house sells for mm -hmm. is not only important to the seller, right. uh, but also to the neighborhood, right? Right, Because that then affects appraisal prices moving forward. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a position as a seller to drop your price mm -hmm. to sell versus maybe making some offerings to keep the sales price the same, but increase right. the home for a buyer, right. which is the better choice? You know, it, for a seller, it's about the bottom line. So okay. how do you get to that number? Um, we were talking just off camera. Um, I had a house that I was having um, some delays on, you know, I couldn't sell it. You know, it backed up to a busy road. And so in that negotiation, I got the list price, but got a fence. Okay, so in that example, mm -hmm. moving forward into the future, the list price, mm -hmm. the sales price is nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, so for other people in that zip code area, right. that's a good thing. And at the same time, negotiation has returned, just as our next slide's going to show, okay. is last month we saw the percent of original list price received. So what that means, um, it was 3.9% negotiation took place. Okay. So to make it easy, if your house was $100,000, on average, you got $96,100. Okay. And so that you can apply that to a $300,000 sure. house. And so... Um, a year ago, again, we were at 100.1% of the list price because this is what your neighbors were getting. Oh, right. Because they were getting multiple offers and going over the list price. Okay. Now, there may still be a few of those, but negotiation has returned, whether it's putting up fences, coming off the price a little bit, or maybe helping the buyer buy down their interest rate. Right, okay. All of those things are helping us move houses. I've got about two minutes left and mm -hmm. I know you had come with three slides. Did yeah. we get them all or was no, there one more? No, we've got one more. Okay. And that is that sales actually uh, did decline again last month. Now, 
if you, we sat here in October, November, December, January and saw sales declining 25 to 30 percent to last year, well, it's, we've hit the bottom and we're starting to bounce back. Um, it was only 9.5 percent this month. Okay. So this is the number of homes that sold in February versus February last year. We didn't see a 25% reduction like January. We saw a 9% reduction. So what I would say, having been on both sides of the table, and most people have as a buyer or a seller, uh, either party needs great representation because both parties are going to be negotiating. Right. You need an advocate, whether you are a home seller or a home buyer. And with my team, that's what I bring. We can represent you as the seller, and if we find the buyer for the property through my marketing, which happens 33% of the time, they're assigned to another team member. Mm -hmm. So they have an advocate to see where the fence lines are and where they can put that new fence, right. or you know the importance of getting an inspection. And Mr. Seller needs an advocate to get the right price. That's right, because the buyer does not want to lose the house, right. and the seller doesn't want to lose the sale. That's exactly right. So here's where you'll find both sides of the aisle. Uh, is at the Mark Height team. Uh, Mark Height Homes is a dot com is an easy website to remember. Two six five zero zero eight eight is the direct line into the office. Is that right? That's it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Keep wearing your green. Color of money. <laughs> Abbott Elementary's Quinta Brunson is on the Jennifer Hudson Show. You work with a lot of kids on the show. Does it make you want to have kids? Opposite. <laughs> and 